Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we're going to take a look at these MSR Lightning Ascent snowshoes. I've used these a few times now. This is not my first time using them and I have to say right off the get-go I am quite impressed at these snowshoes. They are very comfortable, versatile and have been an excellent addition to my kit. Now these MSR Lightning Ascent snowshoes are rather rugged. These are actually pretty rugged design overall. They have some features above and beyond some other types of snowshoes out there and then in other ways are kind of a little bit more simple. So there are a number of things that I definitely can say I very much like about these and some things that are a little bit of a drawback. But if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to talk about, do me a favor, stay tuned. So it's been snowing quite a bit, uh, stopped now, but had a pretty good storm last night. So we got a good amount of snow out here. So I'm getting ready to hit the woods. I'm waiting for my buddy. Thought I'd take a minute here and start taking a look at the Lightning Ascent snowshoes. So these Lightning Ascent snowshoes from MSR are a rugged snowshoe. These are definitely not light duty at all. I got this particular model because I wanted the ability to go hiking in the mountains. I wanted something that was very firm and durable and would definitely survive hard, hard use out in the mountains. And that is exactly what you get out of these MSR Lightning Ascent. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the overall frame. You will notice that this is not like one of those tubular style frames. This is more of a bar stock. So you'll see here this rigid stock going all the way around. Has these sharp teeth built into it to give you some good bite and a couple of different areas throughout that reinforce and also have additional bite on the bottom of the snowshoes. Now the MSR Lightning Ascent snowshoes are designed around a lightweight and in this case they consider it to be ultra lightweight and aggressive all-terrain performance snowshoe. MSR refers to the frame around the outside as the 360 degree traction frames. So this is basically a better level of security than typical tubular frames provide. So with that these are definitely meant for a more aggressive environment. And that's perfect where I intend on bringing these out into the mountains. Now I'm not exactly familiar with the technical terms on all this stuff so if I'm getting it wrong by all means feel free to chime in. Now one of the things that's a little bit hit or miss but it is also what makes these very rugged and durable and stable is the binding system. These are a little bit I would say cumbersome to get them on your feet. These straps here, there are four of them on each snowshoe. It takes a little bit of effort. It's a little bit difficult to do with your gloves on, especially if you're not that familiar with them. I think over time I'll get more and more familiar with getting these on my feet and I'll find little ways to kind of take a little shortcut and get these things tightened up a little bit. In fact, I've already started to kind of do that. If you look at where my heels go, I kind of already have these positioned the way I need them. I can just slide my heel in and get going there. But the fact is, these are definitely not a quick style binding. It takes a little bit of effort and there are eight straps in total to deal with. Now that's not a huge deal and the best benefit is these are about as secure a binding as you could possibly ask for. So once you get these on your feet, they are totally locked in. They are not going anywhere and you will have absolutely no problems with these once you get them on. So the bindings, MSR refers to as the PosiLock AT bindings. And these are the most secure and freeze resistant attachment. Now these are right and left foot specific. So here you'll see this one marked left and this one right. That's right where you want the ball of your foot. Again, I have these pretty well spaced out to fit my heels and my feet exactly like I need them. Now on the bottom of the binding, these do have some nice teeth capable of gripping. And as you rotate your heel, you will see these definitely grab into the ground, grab into ice and snow and hard pack and do a nice job giving you good quality grip. 
Now again, this ascent line being suitable for mountainous use, you will see that these have sort of like a heel lifter. So these bars for your heel are called the Ergo Televators, which helps to reduce fatigue and increase traction on steep climbs. But in essence, if you're going uphill, you can pop these up into place, which is gonna help you on your vertical climbs, gives you a little bit better of a platform and keeps the snowshoes at an angle while you trudge up the hill. So I've never used this feature. I've never used it on any other snowshoes before. So I will be very interested to see how that does. And if you take a quick look, you can see that the terrain we're gonna be getting into is quite steep in spots and should be a good test for that. So I will be interested to see how that overall functions. All the hardware is nicely riveted into place, looks to be very sound. There's a few different materials here. This is kind of a um, synthetic material. I'm not sure the technical name for this. However, I can tell you that it is pretty similar to other snowshoes I've used in the past. Definitely durable, strong, tear resistant, and gives you the overall float that you need once you're walking on the snow. Now I don't have them with me. This here is the 25 inch model, but I also have extensions. So five inch extensions, which would basically get these out to 30 inches in total, which is nice if you have a heavy load or deep snow, the ability to stay a little bit higher up in the snow. So with that, I'm gonna get my pack on, gonna get things going here, and we're gonna get out into the woods and enjoy ourselves a day doing a little bit of snowshoeing. 